All right, this being black in America is shit. So look at this. As a black man, you're in an abusive relationship with America. So how do you fight for a country that has never given you any love, support, appreciation, or trust? Anthony Mackie. Uh, so the fucking, the thing about that shit is, so I see that shit and I'm like, yeah. And then you know what? I'm like, you know what? No, that's not, that's the fucking, that's the thing that I'm dealing with. Cause that's, that's some, that's some shit. I'm not saying that that's not true overall. Overall, that's true. But I also know that's not the fucking truth for fucking not everybody. Um, and this is the fucking thing with me. Um, for the, you know, my summary is apparently, you know, I, I guess we're the golden era, whatever, some shit like that. I very much, without a, for no joke, did not believe I would live past 19. All the statistics said it. All the statistics. There was not really any good chance that I was going to live past the, night, past the age of 19 or so. When I hit 19, I couldn't believe I was alive. And then I just really thought I was going to die by the age of 25. And really thought that. Really thought that. Um, whether it had been from police, whether it had been from other people, every single fucking stat for me and a lot of the other fucking people that were alive during that time, literally as a black man, there would there was really a lot of us beat the fucking odds in the sense of literally beat the odds because statistically it wasn't like that. So for me, what happened was when I hit around twenty twenty one, I ended up moving. Um, I went I went to college and. I didn't have an abusive relationship with the United States. I just didn't. It was kind of almost as if I could... I, if I was going to compare it, it was almost like... What I did have was an ex who was abusive. Who everybody pretty much admitted was abusive. That I would have to interact with every once in a while. But I didn't particularly have an active... You know what I mean? Like, abusive relationship. And then somehow or another, over the last you know, really decade or so, it it has been an abusive relationship. It has been. It has been overly fucking traumatic. Um, it's fucking, it's, it's just crazy. So I just kind of want to get on here and kind of fucking just basically rant about me. Um, and it's not just me. It's other black men as well that I know that for a fact, there was at least a period of time where it wasn't, we were at least in an active abusive relationship it was as if like yo yeah we, we, you know we had a, a, an abusive relationship with this person that person's still around they're still alive we still have to interact with that person every once in a while but very rarely and for the most part we could stay away from them and now it's as if i can't i, I at least feel as if i can't fucking up i can't i can't even i can't even escape the fact that i was ever in an abusive relationship even when i don't want to be in an abusive relationship i'm thrown into an abusive relationship that's how it really feels um and it's fucking it is tiring and it's fucking crazy and it's just i just don't you know it's just fucking um it makes me fucking want to vent um because it's it's just it's fucking it's just <sighs> you know, I know what the dude is saying, and I'm glad it's out there and everything, but I also want to, um, or at least I, I do know that there's, there, there, there can be a point in time where it's like, it's about having had been in an abusive relationship. Um, and not just for myself, but for others. I, I, I just want to return to that for me, but also have that for a whole bunch of other people, because it's, it's really bugging me out. Like, I, like, because. For me, I'm kind of somewhat cut off, not even somewhat. I'm very much cut off where I'm only seeing things through very much an internet kind of thing. Um, also, what I'm experiencing day to day, but um, I, I don't have the ability, I don't have friends and family to be able to discuss things with and kind of kind of have things in a, um, be able to have a conversation that doesn't feel tainted by, uh, by, um, by other things, period. Um, so, you know, I don't know how much of this is made up and how much of this is just kind of like being... Um, being uh exaggerated but it's a uh, it's fucking this is what's more tiring is 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 uh constantly fucking hearing about this shit as if like it's not even possible to not have a fucking abusive relationship with the united states like it's fucking um it's ridiculous so um yeah